Yo, so I decided I'm going to try to start this YouTube shit all over again and actually just, you know, be more of myself, be authentic. I think that's kind of what I lean towards, you know, just in my content in general. But yeah, I mean, let this be the first of many. And on this fucking channel, I'm just going to ramble about my life, my journey, my entrepreneurship and what it actually seems like the life of being an entrepreneur is versus what people make it seem to be what it's not. So with that being said, I'm currently in Dallas, Texas at the moment, um, dirty ass house. And I'm currently going through waves of life where, you know, you'll get, you'll get to the point where you'll realize that when you were like young, figuring out shit as far as making money online and you see all these guys living this crazy life, every single day is not going to be sunshine and rainbows, you know? And I've started to realize that throughout this journey. So I'm 21 years old right now. Uh, I've been in online space for about... Since I was 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, I'm stupid, like five or six years now. And let me tell you, man, it's been a fucking journey. Like I didn't actually start making money till like last year, I'd say. And that was through TikTok where I basically blew up my first drop shipping product and I made a couple hundred grand and profited, you know, a good amount. And after that, you know, after those long nights, that hard work and throughout all that shit, like I finally cracked it. But I don't even think I'm at the beginning of it. I don't even think I'm nowhere near the beginning because I know there's still so much more out there. And throughout this journey, a lot of people don't show you the behind the scenes of like, what did it all look like? What it all took? And, you know, I'm in a decent position right now, I would say, but I feel as if I'm still a peasant. Uh, I don't think I've done anything. And I don't think there's so much more to experience. But what people don't show you is like the real atrocities that you, you encounter and what happens. So like right now, currently, you know, I've been fucking lazy today, sat on my ass, ate a bunch of food. And people make it seem as seems as if that like you have to have a routine, get up every single day, and do you know what they want you to do? Have an ice bath, go out for a run. Yeah, I lift, I stay active, I make sure I do all those things. And sometimes you know I don't want to do business. And I started to realize when you're able to do the things that you don't want to do, of course it always works out and it plays out in your favor. But today it was just like I'm just very very unmotivated, and I don't think a lot of people explain that and are very transparent you know throughout their journey like yo you're gonna have these days where you know staying focused can get boring and right now it's like one of those things where you know i know i gotta get things done but i'm just throwing them off and procrastinating procrastination has been one of those biggest things that's held me back throughout my journey and of course i'm i'm the first to admit that i think being able to admit your flaws throughout your journey is at least half the battle some people can't even do that so you know i'm coming to you guys as a 21 year old entrepreneur letting you guys know that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And if you're in it to kind of make a couple, couple grand or whatever for a couple months and then dip out, then I don't think this game is meant for you. But this game is meant and only the strong will survive. And that's just the name of it all. So in order to stay tuned to everything that goes on in my life, I'll keep you guys updated. Show you guys a back end of the journey. You know, what I experienced, my thoughts of just going through all this shit. And like I said, just be very open and transparent about it all. But uh, yeah, bro, like, like I said, this is going to be my daily thoughts, you know, what I'm thinking for the day and sharing with guys that's my age that, you know, are starting out in the journey. I want you, I want you to know, like, bro, this shit is worth it at the end if you can see through it all. Like, through all my hardest moments, you know, times I want to give up. Bro, if you can see through all this shit, bro, you can have it. Uh, you know, I journal. I've probably been journaling for the past four or five years now. And everything I fucking said, I may not have gotten it just yet. But it's little things that show me that I'm on the path to getting it. Like I may have gotten a little taste of it, a glimpse of it. I've, I've kind of experienced a little of it, but I haven't amassed all of it. And that goes to show you like that's the fucking power of like manifestation and, you know, believing in yourself and seeing shit through. That's why I got, I believe, tatted on me. I can see through everything I've ever been through. I know I'll get through it. You know, there's times where I was spending all my money go absolutely broke. And I know like, okay, how do I not end up here before? I've been here before. I can see through this. I'll get through it. So you got to have that fucking belief. But yeah, bro, other than that, this is just raw footage. I'm just going to speak. I'm just speaking off the dome. There's no scripting in any of this. Um, yeah, I just want to be able to, you know, just share my thoughts. Like I said, people my age who are experiencing this shit, like this shit is, it's, it's an up and down game. Like it's not built for every, everyone can't do it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to probably try to do them daily and just be as honest as possible. And yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. I don't know. I don't know why I said see you soon. I hope you guys see me soon. And yeah, peace.